Hey guys, what about Am Yobi here? Um, here is the long-awaited review of PGA Tour 2K23. Uh, I meant to do this a while ago. Things happened. It didn't get done. Being done now. Um, there was a lot to look forward to in this game, and in some ways, it's delivered, and in others, it hasn't. So, what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna go through um, down here on the bottom. I'm gonna go through each of these, and then I'm gonna go through some gameplay as well, uh, and we'll look at the good. And we'll look at the not so good and there's uh, plenty of both to be honest with you so if we start out with my player we'll go to golfer first i guess and we'll go to appearance first so one of the one of my disappointments with this is there's not really a whole lot you can do um there's very few people to choose so it's, it's very difficult to make your player look like you, which is kind of unfortunate. It would have been cool to be able to, uh, but I mean, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. And then, yeah, you, just, you, can, you can do a little bit with your face and your eyes and your hair and that. But again, you can't really, you've got to pick, it's all preset, right? So not a huge amount here that we can do, uh, which is disappointing. We go into the pro shop. Uh, there's this featured stuff. But where I, I'm level 50 right now, I've maxed out a couple of sponsors and I still don't have a huge amount of options when it comes to shirts I can wear. And the other thing is I don't, one of the things I really don't understand. So let's say I like this shirt for whatever reason. I can't change the color. So wh why wouldn't we just have this Air Jordan shirt, for example, and then I pick what color I want it to be. Why do we need to have, like, why do we need to have Adidas shirts that are, there's multiple Adidas shirts here. It's the same shirt, it's just different colors. Why can't I just pick the color I want? Silly. Um, but there, yeah, there's there's limited so far, and this is what's in the pro shop. I think I have, I, I know I have even less in, in my inventory. I have, I have a shirt. Um, there's these long sleeve shirts, which are kind of hoodies, I think. Yeah, they're hoodies. So long sleeve shirts are hoodies. Nothing, no other option but, but a hoodie. I don't think. Unless there's something here that isn't. No, that's a hoodie too. Um, I'd have to go looking. Outerwear, I can wear that jacket. Sweet. And then these undershirts. I'm a little underwhelmed. We go to pants so again we have limited options with you know style and color and whatnot again why can't we have these foot joy or these adidas pants or foot joy or whatever and then pick our color it, it just you know for customizing it would make sense shorts i have two pairs of shorts well that's fine because i'm a guy and i don't think professional golfers should be wearing shorts so that's fine but still just these are the two i've got can't choose the color i've got these leggings i'm assuming that's for female players um i'm not positive about that that's my assumption but i don't see when i would ever be putting leggings on although it does say male leggings men's leggings so i don't know maybe they're supposed to be for guys i just don't know when i would ever wear them and then a kilt where are the plus fours or the knickers where did they go i was a i was a pretty big Payne stewart fan when i back in the day um i like to wear i like to wear those in the video game why can't i wear them they're not here why where'd they go so for customization, you know, hats, we have a few options. Again, I can't change the color. Um, I, I've maxed out my Nike sponsorship and I don't have a single Nike hat available to me in here. Why? And then I got these hats. Okay. But like, how, how do I get more of this stuff? When I've already got to level 50, I've already maxed out a couple sponsorships. How do I get there? I don't know. Equipment. I like what they've done with the equipment. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure. I imagine this is through sponsorship. We're going to unlock all this stuff. But I like how the equipment is cosmetic only. So I can choose if I want to play all title of stuff. Go for it. I want it to be a TS3 or a TS2. Go for it. Doesn't matter. It's going to play the same way. You get to just choose how, what your bag looks like. So what, what clubs you have in there. Uh, and it's not going to affect how you play. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, that's one, and I wish they had this more of this for um, clothing as well. 
because it's just there's too many um there's, there's just too many things that in the clothing where there's just not really any options you know here i've got and in here they've broken it down they've got well yeah here's their fairwood wood there's a three wood and there's a five wood awesome hybrids irons i can pick whichever irons i use so you know if, if you have relatively new clubs you might be able to, 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 to play with your real life bag in the game which, which is quite cool you know we got wedges we got putters um the scotties in here i really like the fact that I'll, I'll it's in my bag but they've got the ping answer style putter finally which is cool and then golf balls i can choose which golf ball i want to use again it's cosmetic so it doesn't really matter actually i want that one ah doesn't matter um but anyways yeah and then they do have some yellow ones cool so again they, with the equipment i think they've done a really good job i think they've done a really poor job with the clothing all right if we go to my golfer uh actually it's not in here so that's the other thing that's a bit it's a bit um a bit confusing at times oh it's in the locker probably we go to the lock okay so as far as getting new stuff yeah equipment really cool clothing not we go to the locker so here's the here's the here the clubs i'm using so now i could decide that i want to switch my driver to something else so that's appearance and then i've got these drivers available to me right that i've unlocked or i've purchased using vc or whatever it might be so that's cool i can put a different shaft on it if i want there's i mean there's just so much more um ability to customize with the clubs than there is with the clothing which I, th I just find odd um and then there's so that's my collection my fittings we'll get into that in a minute there's my apparel all right let's what i see what i have for apparel so one of the things the menu i find a bit a bit iffy uh, i just have a hard time finding stuff a lot a lot of time it's not completely user intuitive to me um so yeah that's my short leaf i have this shirt that's it I can't change the color of it. I can't do much with it. I don't have any long sleeves. I don't have any outwear. Don't have any. I, that's, it. that's all I got. Um, not sure how that's a good idea. So they, when we get to that part, you know, creating your player, clothing them up, and all that stuff, that part's kind of crummy. Filling out the golf bag is really quite good. So that's where we are. I think we're gonna go to fittings next. Fittings are a little bit kind of complicated i guess but then not so bad if you figure it out and that's good and i think that's a key of the whole a theme of the whole game is once you figure it out it's okay it's not so bad but until you do it's a little bit wonky so these orange fittings i think are legendary i'm not sure they're the ones that are the best um then you got purple you've got blue green and gray there might be another color in there i'm not positive um shout out to respawn and g dog for this one um respawn in particular because his video i watched one of the things i've been doing is i've been collecting all these lower tier ones and then exchanging my way up to get these orange ones or yeah these orange ones because that's going to be the ones that you're going to want so um but there's things like my wedge shaft is going to improve my timing by 10 not my yeah sorry the shaft that's what i was looking for the grip and yeah, that might i guess that kind of makes sense where's a grip one okay here so this grip is going to give me more power more timing more path more transition more shaping more lie range um okay <laughs> i don't believe you but fine so good idea but eh. i like the idea of fitting though i like the idea because in real life you would go you would get fit for your clubs you'd be fit in a way that makes the most sense for your game um you have the option between focusing on power timing swing path transition shaping and lie range right and so you get that opportunity to choose your bag the way you want it and fit your clubs the way you want which is exactly what you would do in real life which is good um how you get the fittings is a bit unfortunate it's, it seems quite random um you get them after a round uh you get them if you beat a rival you get them if you accomplish certain goals in career mode and then you get them after rounds and it seems to be kind of random and so you kind of have to have a bit of luck and a bit of fortune to get the ones you want and really you got to play the exchanging game so you can take three of a lower um tier exchange them for one of the higher tier and then if you have three of the same tier you can exchange it for the one that you want of that tier 
so again a good idea fairly well implemented sort of but then kind of not um yeah it's it could be a little bit cleaner but it's not too bad it's not too bad so as far as equipment things aren't so bad i'm gonna get to the first issue i have with this and that is when we go to golfer and we go to our skill tree this is an absolute mess and i watched my buddy playing online not understanding how this worked wondering why every putt he was hitting was going way past the hole because he didn't understand how these this works because it's not intuitive at all and the guy i'm talking about is the next maker and he still didn't know how it worked so that to me is an issue if, if your next makers don't know how your game works and how your skill trees work that's a problem right so we have these skills the every so one three first column third column fifth column are i think these are the ones where yeah these are ones where you get a you get help if you're struggling the second fourth and sixth columns are, are ones where you get um a boost if you're doing well so if you hit it for this one here if you hit three fairways in regulation then you get um a boost for shaping off the tee with your driver right <sighs> okay i guess it's a bit arcadey for my taste. Uh, again, another shout out to Respawn. I just used, if you if you use four points on each column, you get to the end. These passive skills are available all the time and I just went timing for all of them. Um, notice I didn't do hybrid because I don't care at hybrid. So I skipped that. So that allows me to have more skills elsewhere, right? But until you understand how this works, it's, it's just when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is that? And even now that I've gone through it a couple times, I'm not positive what I'm doing. I think I've got it, but I'm not positive. But there's some stuff like, uh, where are we going here? Iron, there's a power one. I get a power boost from the fairway if I have three birdies. Why do I want power in my irons? My driver, yes, I want power. But not my irons, I want my irons to go a distance. I don't need them to go, if I, if I want them to go farther, I'll fit them to go farther. I don't want to get a boost all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't want to all of a sudden have a shot and be like, oh, this thing goes four yards farther now. Crap. Okay. Things like that don't make much sense. I think there's a power for wedge, which makes even less sense. When do I ever want to have a power for wedge? Uh, yeah, there. No, this is the power column, it looks like. Anyways, yeah, pow power boost from the fairway for wedge. Why? Why do I want that? Right? Why do I want roll? I thought I saw that here. Why do I want, why, why do I want a roll boost? from heavy rough the ball already rolls a lot out of the heavy rough why do i want it rolling farther doesn't make any sense either and then we get to the putting and you'll notice this one i haven't this one here i haven't used at all I, why do i want a roll boost on the green this green this game and we'll, we'll look at it in a minute the, the ball already rolls out a ton as it is why do i want to make it roll farther it doesn't make any sense um and we'll get to it in a sec about what what it what it really does um, but yeah, it just, it, it just stuff like this, where it really makes you feel like the person, uh, the, the people that, um, that develop this game, they've never played the game. They don't understand how the game works. You don't want, I, I, you never would have anything that would make the ball roll farther. It would spin less, which might make it roll farther, but you'd never actually have, there's no putter out there that you're going to have it rolls farther. And the other thing about it is for golfers, a roll boost. I would interpret that as my ball is going to roll truer. It's going to roll straighter. It's going to be less likely to, to oscillate or wobble to the hole. It's going to be more likely to go right where I've hit it. No, that's not what it is. It just rolls farther, which basically makes the greens faster. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, so this skills, it, it's, you know, for arcadey stuff, I, okay. Just poorly implemented. The archetype, love it. Think it's a cool idea. Um, I like the idea that we're all going to have different strengths. We're going to have different weaknesses. We get to pick what that is. Um, and if you have lots of power, you're going to have less, you know, accuracy. Um, you're going to have, you're going to be worse potter, that kind of stuff. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think it's a bit tricky at first to kind of figure out which one you're going to want to use. And I think that the fittings can kind of override the archetypes, uh, archetype somewhat, but it, again, good idea. And there's five of them here and they sort of make sense you know the powerman hammers the ball the greensman is good around the greens it looks like the rhythm person has good timing right sculptor has good um shaping woodsman yes good with woods i don't know uh, this one is one that doesn't make sense to me 
Um, so that's not bad. It's not bad. It's okay. Again, you know, could have been implemented a little bit better, but we're on the right track here, I think, maybe. Skills tree is a mess, though. It's got to be changed. But we need to go back to our locker. And we need to address one of the biggest issues. This right here. So, I'm using the default ball because I play on TGC Tours, and TGC Tours has locked its society to only using the default ball. So that's cool. So, 35, 35, 65, 65. If I go to this aviator ball, all of a sudden my ball flies, sit what it goes from a 35 flight to a 95 flight. Which I think ends up being about 10 to 15 yards. And it spins more. That doesn't make any sense at all. The, you would not find a ball on the market today that goes farther and spins more. It, it might have more ball speed, I guess, and maybe it spins. But the ball's not going to go farther through the air while spinning more. It just doesn't happen. And then it bounces less and it rolls way less. The, the issue here is again because the, the developers of this game I think haven't played haven't played actual golf they don't understand that these don't make any sense you don't you don't buy a ball because it bounces more or less balls more or less bounce the same and it's the ground that makes them bounce it's not the ball right same with rolling they don't really it'll roll less because it spins more when it lands but the problem with this is when you use a ball like this and it's got way less roll the greens get the greens get slower so how far it rolls on the green it rolls less so the green now plays slower and that's huge that's a massive massive issue what they need to have here is they need to have spin ball speed and i if they can figure out a way a way to make feel that would be it and if you want to not so not don't call it ball speed call it distance that's fine but you can never have a ball that both spins more and goes farther it just can't happen in real life, you're looking at spin, you're looking at distance, and you're looking at more ball speed than distance, but, you know, launch angle, that kind of stuff. And then you're looking at feel. All right, how's the ball feel around the green? Is it soft? Is it firm? I understand that you can't really replicate that in the video game, but they got to do better than this. You can't have bounce and roll stats, and you can't have it that I'm using this ball, so my green speed is 143. And my buddy's using a different ball, so his is 160. That just makes no sense. And that's another issue with that skill fitting, um, the putt, putter roll. It makes the green a different speed for both players. The, the green is the, sp the green speed is the green speed. It cannot change. You can't do that. So this is another thing where it's a good idea to have different kinds of golf balls and that have different strengths and different weaknesses. I think that's great. It's just been implemented so poorly, so poorly. Um, and to me, it's a game breaker. It's an absolute game breaker and how this made it through beta testing is beyond me i just don't understand how this was allowed to come out in in a finished game it makes no sense so just it's so unfortunate that they've done this um and the sooner that you know they and i think they've realized it's a bad thing because they've allowed societies to lock to a default ball but they, they need to tweak this so that these consumable balls are actually worth using um, and then maybe we can go back and they can be kind of like club fittings where you can kind of choose what you've got, but they've got to change it. Have to change it. Um, so that that's a big miss. It's a big miss. All right. If we come back out here, yeah, the caddy is, I mean, I mean, the caddy is fine, but there's, you can't do anything with the caddy. Uh, my career, it's not bad. Um, you've got your rivalries, you've got your sponsors. Uh, I have Callaway by accident. I'm supposed to have ping. I hit the, I hit the button by accident at one point. Um, you, you play some courses. Some of them are decent. Some of them suck. You do have the option of swapping courses, but not real life courses apparently. So that's too bad. I, I would like to see more options for course courses that you can use, um, so that it doesn't stay boring. But once you've gone through it a couple of times, you've maxed out your sponsors. There's really not much point doing this anymore. Um, it's, it's not bad. I, I think a career mode in a golf game is always going to be a bit tricky. Uh, the fact that you just keep rotating through the rivals is a bit silly. The fact that you max your sponsors out and nothing else happens is kind of silly. Uh, it, 
it's okay. Um, it's 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 a reasonable facsimile of what what it's like in real life. So I'm not gonna get into it too much, but it's it's not bad. We go to competitive. That's societies, and that's all it is, and that's fine. I think societies are one of the strengths of this game. So you see, I've got some TG. Well, I only have TGC tour societies right now. I know there's other ones out there, um, but I just don't have a huge amount of time to play a whole bunch of societies. So these are ones that I play, but it gives you an opportunity to play in a tournament against other people um, and you know see how you do. Uh, I'll play in the same course, and the people who create the society can choose what course you're going to use. That's to me is one of the big benefits of TGC Tours is they have got a bunch of guys creating courses that are really good that, you know, allow us to play every week. And it gives us that ability to play different courses every week. And so to me, that keeps, keeps the game fresh. So society's more or less unchanged since 21. I don't really think there's much that's different in them. And I don't think there needed to be much different. I think they work. Uh, Crossplay would be nice. Apparently that's coming. But, you know, beyond that, I think we're probably in decent shape with, with the societies. The casual play, this is good too. Uh, the fact that I can choose from myriad courses, you know, I can go to trending, I suppose. By the way, this is not how I would choose a course. I'd go to TGC Tours and see what they're saying. TGCTours.com, but yeah, you know, there's course, there's just there's so many courses in here that that's again gonna keep the game fresh, so I can go and just try another course that maybe has just come out, and then that's nice. Uh, and then I can choose which player I'm playing, which I guess I should get to this too. One of the strengths about this game is I can be Tiger Woods. I guess I can be Steph Curry. I, 2K has um, NBA as well, so I guess that makes sense, sort of. But I can be Tony Fee now. I can be Ricky Fowler. I can be Brooke Henderson. They've got women. Fantastic. Love it. Uh, about time that women are better represented in, in golf games. I, I, think that's, I think that's great. Uh, I know when my daughter's played with me, she's been Brooke because we're Canadian. Uh, Michael Jordan, whatever. Lydia Ko, another female. Great. Colm Arkawa, John Rahm, Justin Rose, Andrew Shoffley, Justin Thomas, Lexi, Harold Varnell III. I think he might have defected to live. Bob is for sure defected to live. And then Will Zalator. So they got decent stable players here. They got to get a couple of them out of there because they're not PGA Tour players anymore. But the fact that I can play as those players is cool. And it, you know, for the casual player, it's fantastic. It needs to, it needs to be in there. Have I done it? No. But that's okay. It's that's not my um, it's just not my thing, right? I'll just be me. But I like the fact that they're in there. So that's another great thing about playing casually. You can play it as whoever you want. Just fantastic. Um, and then I can change the details. I can change what pin I'm playing from, what team I'm playing from. Yeah. Again, more or less. Uh, the, the big change here from last game is is the ability to change what player you are and to be a, a real life player, which is nice. Top golf. We'll, we'll 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 fire it up play a quick match um it's not bad it's kind of cool it's it's boring in a hurry so i'm just gonna try and hit into these things oh that's short no points for me We'll get into the gameplay in a minute. Go we'll check out the range and stuff. But, you know, you do this. I mean, this isn't a bad warm-up, I suppose. So now I'm going to play here, and I'm going to pitch this thing, I guess. But, I mean, this gets monotonous quick. It's a good addition, though. Uh, I know Top Golf's quite popular. It just gets boring very quickly i could see where you might play with a bunch of buddies have a few beers and have at it i could see that being fun but i'm not i mean that's about as much as i can take playing it uh and then the designer i can't really speak to the designer because i don't design i can go off of what i've heard which is there are a bunch of bugs um i know there's a bunch of people that are still designing in 2k21 and then trying to port over their their courses because they're just finding 2k23 to be too 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 hard to do it with there's too many bugs too many issues the designer didn't really get much added to it from what I can tell. And if it's been made more difficult to design on that, that's a huge miss, which needs to be fixed because the designer is the thing that really keeps this game going without the designer. This game gets boring in about five minutes. 
the designer is the thing having a basically infinite supply of golf courses is what allows this game to be relevant for two years. They need to get the designer to a point where people want to design good courses in it and they need to market the courses better. They need to actually show courses that top level designers have created that look like real life courses that make people want to play them to show how great you what you can do with the designer and why you want to be part of it. So hopefully that stuff gets fixed as we go along. I would love to see revetted face bunkers. I would love to see drops get fixed. Um, I would love to see splining of, of out of bounds so you can be very precise where the out of bounds is. But if they fix the hazards, you wouldn't need to have as much out of bounds. There's a bunch of stuff that they could do. Um, for now, it's a bit unfinished in my opinion. Okay. If we go to... See, here we go again. Where's training? There. So some things that are better. Uh, the menu sound is better. I'm not that bothered about it. I have it pretty low because I don't really care. But it's better. The driving range is way better. I, from what I understand, uh, one of the next makers designed it. Awesome. But now I can actually hit to a green. And so I can see how the ball reacts when it lands on the green. But I have, I have things to aim at. So now I'm not, I don't just have to come in here and smash driver down the fairway because there's not much point in hitting anything else. I can try some things like here. Uh, no, I want to come shorter. So let's say I'm here and I want to try and hit. Where's my, that punch? Yeah. Let's see if I can make a punch shot spin. Can I hit it like an old ballada shot, old ballada ball shot where I pitch it kind of, I can get it stopped fairly quickly. as opposed to this shot where it's going to roll out quite a bit more, I think mm, similar, but I can, I can do that, right? I can play around here. I can, I can see, all right, well, what happens if, what happens if I try to hit a flop here? And I didn't quite get it there. Let's try that again. Okay. Now what if I put full spin on it? What happens? Oh, look at that. It checks up way more. See? This is cool. So now we have a driving range that allows us to try different things, play different shots, experiment a bit. Here's a three wood into the green. So how does this react? Okay. It doesn't really roll that far. Interesting. Right. Very cool. Uh, when it comes to gameplay, Oh, can I hit, can I hit these guys? Ooh. The sound. When you hit a good shot is great. Let's see if I can hit a decent shot. Mm, close. But when you, when you hit like a perfect shot, the, the sound it makes is wonderful. It just sounds one, especially irons. I prefer irons actually. That sound there is really quite good. So there's some good stuff there. All right. And the fact that they've made the driving range more Realistic. It's actually a hell of a drive. I'd love to have this driving range in real life. Especially if they let me use real balls on it. That'd be fantastic. It would be wonderful. Well, let's get into gameplay. And I want to highlight something in this. Uh, that's the one I want. So we'll get into the gameplay. Again, gameplay, there's some stuff that's really good. And then some stuff that just isn't. So St. George's is in Toronto-ish. It's home of the Canadian Open this past year. It's a very cool Stanley Thompson um, design. But it has some issues because of the way the, the green gameplay is around the green. It's almost unplayable with the default ball because 
of where the way the greens are reacting and where they've put pins. So we were able to get sneak that one in. But it is so easy to putt a ball off a green when you really shouldn't be putting it off the green. Can I have a wind meter? I guess not. Can I have anything? Can't see how far it went. Okay, there it is. That was weird. I haven't seen that before. So, I mean, the lie, the wind. Um, the fact that you can, I'll do it in a minute. The fact that you can basically completely duff one is great. Um, you, you're, you're, you're rewarded for good shots and then... I tried to slow that. <laughs> oh, I tried to slow it to the point where it didn't go anywhere. Um, here, let's try and flop one and just completely miss the thing. Of course, on cue, I can't do it. I, I know I can go fast, though. So you can you can snap hook a shot. You can it basically miss it, miss it with the driver. See there, very fast, ball barely gets off the ground. Goes dead left. Great, love it. Uh, you have to be accurate with tempo. And then it goes, you know, perfect. It flies how it should. I like that. What I don't like is stuff like this, when the ball just rolls and rolls and rolls. So we're going to hit this past the hole, and then this should be fun. And remember this, I've played this a bunch. I've gotten myself up to level 50. But look, look at this thing just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It shouldn't go on that far past the hole. And then I shouldn't just bang in a six footer like that either. So there's some stuff that's good. The sounding sound is great. The fact that I can miss it like that is good. I'm rewarded for keeping my tempo in decent shape. I'm punished for not, although that was a nice bounce. I don't like the um, skill attributes. I just think things changing all the time. This one might not stay on the green. Uh eh, not bad. So yeah, I don't I don't like that how far I hit my clubs, particularly you know, in my case I have it so the driver will change. I don't really like that. But I get it, it's kinda arcadey. Uh I just this is a good example of a hole. Let's make sure we hit this long. Wouldn't mind being on the green. But chip might work too. Actually no, you know what? I wanna just Chunk this on the green. Oh, it might do it anyways. There. I barely got that onto the green. I was trying to keep it short. And it's rolled all the way off the other side. That's a massive, that's the biggest issue with the gameplay and it's going to completely change how people create their courses because you can't have big slopes like that with any kind of speed on your greens. Otherwise, you're going to have balls rolling off the green all over the place and people are going to hate it. So the sound of the clubs, wonderful. Love it. Uh, the way the ball reacts when it hits the green, fantastic. Love it. Um, the fact that tempo... You have a, a range there where you're going to have it. You have perfect, which will be, you know, perfect. You've got a range in there where you'll, it'll be good, decent. And it, and then once you stray into the darker gray, it's going to be an absolute mess. Love it. Very realistic. The fact that you can't just chip in all the time, the way that the chip me mechanism works, great. I just was thinking of something else. Bunkers aren't fantastic.
But around the green is more difficult, which it should be. It's far too easy to just do that, though. And not barely get it out or not get it out at all. And then again, I've got this shot, which I don't know that it stays on the green. So, you know, there's some stuff that's really good. Chips are better. They need to get rid of the flops or, or have the flop only go like 20 yards or something and it goes straight up and straight down and have it be a difficult shot. Like have that tempo window be really, really, really short because I think that'll make it more realistic. It's just far too easy to hit flop shots in this game. They need to make the pit partial pitch a little bit easier so people will play that rather than trying to hit flops all over the place. They've got to get the bunkers shots a little bit. Like I don't want to be holding them out all the time or just stiffing them all the time. But I don't want to be leaving him in the bunker every other time I either. I think that happens far too often. Um, and so, and then the, the way the ball rolls on the green, that needs to be sorted out. So, you know, overall, PGA Tour 2K23, it's, it's a couple steps forward and a couple steps back. So question I was asked was, should the person buy this game? And I don't know that I can answer that question because, you know, everybody has different um, reasons for wanting to play it. They have different expectations of the game. <laughs> I think I would probably buy it on sale. Would I buy it at full price? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I probably would because I really enjoy golf and there's enough in here that I like. But it would be, it, 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 I guess the thing is, if I wasn't creating content around this game, I, I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I'd wait for it to be on sale. The only reason I got it when I did was for to be able to create content. And then the, the last thing we'll talk about with the game, um, when I look at the engagement with the videos and streams and stuff when I'm playing this game, it's way down. And that seems to be across the board. There isn't the interest in this game that there was in 21. Part of that will be pandemic related. Um... But part of it is just there's too many things in this game that are wrong, that are just broken. Um, and there's not enough, you know, revolutionary changes in it, which I don't think they were ever going to be. I think this was always going to be a bit more of an evolutionary change where things were going to get a bit better. And I think if they'd have done that and the things that were good in this game, if they would made those good and then not had the other issues, I think then you'd, you'd have a lot more positive or positivity about this game. It's just that the couple few things that are wrong with it are really wrong and they really wreck the experience. So um, hopefully it'll get patched. Don't get me started on this whole we can patch it later stuff though. I'm old and remember when you couldn't patch and I believe a game should be finished when it comes out. But hopefully they're able to patch some of this stuff and make it a better experience. Right now it's a mixed bag and it's going to depend on how interested are you in playing the game. And if you're, you know, like me and you love golf, then yeah, you might go ahead and get it and play it and deal with it. But there's gonna be a lot of people who aren't gonna bother. And then when you're looking at designing courses, there's a lot of people that already have stopped bothering with it. So 2K has got some work to do. They've got EA coming here soon. Um, they've got to make sure they've got to get this game to be somewhere better, like somewhere decent, get it better than what it is right now to get people in, in, involved. And they better hit it out of the park with 25. Otherwise, I fear for them. If you've enjoyed this, hit like, um, let me know. In the comments what you like what you didn't like about the review uh if you want to see more content including course playthroughs competitive rounds hit subscribe um thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you guys soon cheers